So today we are taking lemon balm that was dehydrated in our solar dehydrator and we are making um, just crushed tea with it. So you can see we've got, um, here's where the crushed lemon balm is and then here's the lemon balm itself and we took all of this this is a really big amount this crate is full of lemon balm and we cut that uh, from our garden so we'll take a walk out to show you where that took place and we have so many herbs because this is a permaculture garden and um, part of permaculture, permanent culture, permanent agriculture is practicing perennial herbs and um, vegetables and the like. So this was what I cut last week. You can see the stalks here chopped down. And um, so this is uh, lemon balm or bee balm actually. A little piece here. It's, you know, very good. It's very good tea. Um, great subtle minty flavor. So that's the product <clears throat> that we cut and we took that and we harvested as much as we had in our secret garden area and we put it into our solar dehydrator which you see here. So this is our dehydrator. I haven't put anything in it today. But I will be adding peppermint today. So you have a lot of peppermint. So I just open this, it's really warm in here. You can see it's about 115 degrees. Um, it can get warmer, but this is where we dry all of our herbs. And um, it can dry a lot, and it's just DIY, fully homemade, um, recycled glass paneling here. Um, and make up our windows and then oven racks here. These are all just recycled oven racks. Put them on these shelves and um, when we have an herb in here uh, covered uh, or, or the whole thing is full, what we do is we cover it with this sheet here to protect it from the sun because um, we want it warm but we don't want direct sunlight because we don't want to scorch it. What you're aiming for is kind of a, a green color. So these are still, you know, that's still a good color. I don't know if that's easier or hard to see in this light. But um, yeah, so that's what you're looking for. And we leave it in for about a week. So every week I go and I fill this dehydrator up and um, then we, we, um, empty it out, fill it up again. Um, we, we put in chili peppers here to uh, make a cayenne pepper that is just delicious. Um, I eat it almost on everything. Um, we put in, um, you know, oregano. Um, we've got a great, really fragrant oregano, the freshest herbs you're gonna find. Um, anything that you can dry uh, in herb form will dry in here. So that's how you do dried herbs in a DIY solar dehydrator.